Hey guys, Mix here. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm bringing back the mini bike, and uh, we're going to be putting on these parts by Go Power Sports. I highly su suggest going to them. But we're going to be putting on new air filter in tank, intake, a uh, new exhaust pipe, and we're going to be rejetting the carburetor. So I guess I'll just do a uh, before, like startup of how it sounds and like revving it. And then we'll do an after once all the parts are on. Alright, now uh, now we're going to get started into taking off the air box. So, I think I think these are 10, 10, uh, let's see. the most handy with the uh, oh, with tools so this is kind of a uh, start for me all right oh gosh uh i guess i'll just leave them all right there i don't want to be losing them that would be bad I guess this this could be kind of a uh, tutorial for people if they also want to do this to uh, their Predator engines, 212cc. Alright, so we got those off. I think we have to unhook that. Let's see. I've done hook this tube from here, but like this one's really on there. Like I can't get it off. Jeez. All right, so I think I have a newer version of this type of engine. So I took it off, took the gas line off, and then this off. But now I'm realizing now there's nothing going there and there, and you need gas to uh, go through an engine. And I've never seen this type of air filter. Like it's like, I don't know. But uh, I think what I might have to do is cut this part off. Cut this part, actually. Yeah, cut that part off because I think it needs to go through there and then into here. So we're gonna try that. All right, guys. So I'm gonna skip that part for now because it's confusing me a lot. So now I'm just going to put on the exhaust. Alright, so I had, to un I had to unbolt that to fit this there. but Alright, so I got that. I don't even know if this fits, honestly. So this is moment of truth. Oh, yeah. Alright, it fits. There wasn't any, uh, like, okay, uh, alright, that's kind of weird. So now, I guess I just need to put these back on. This is kind of a, I think I need to do this. But it was annoying getting these, theory, these three off, because they're such an awkward position. It was so weird. I even got a little cut from doing it. Alright, so I just got on the exhaust pipe. It looks mean, dude. Oh, man. This is going to sound like a Harley Davidson. Oh, my God. Alright, so next I'm going to be uh, rejading the carburetor. This, I don't, I don't know. I'm confused about this. Like, with the whole gas, the gas line and going to this. I don't know, but, uh. I'm, I might just, oop. I might just bring that to a, uh, a shop. See if they can do anything. What the heck? Which way does this go? There. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we have some gas coming out. Uh, is this, which way? Alright, it's off. It's probably just the gas from before. 
it was probably a bad idea to uh, start it before. Oh my gosh, it's cold. Oh gosh, that's cold gas. What the heck? It's freezing. Oh god. So I see the jet right there. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Alright, so now you take out the new jet. Alright, so we have the new jet. You want to be careful that you don't over tighten it because then you can just ruin your entire carburetor case. Alright, so the new carburetor's in. And you want to make sure that you put the float bowl back on not too tight also because you can also because there could be some gas leaks or so try and put it back together as much as possible as it was before <laughs> alright guys so the new jet is in and I'm I'm so confused with this with the gas line and then going into this but I'm just gonna install it anyway and then maybe figure it out how it uh like how how it would all hook up from there. But so what you wanna do is oh there goes my box. So uh there we go. Alright, so you wanna go like that. Put it in like that. And then lift up this and put it on the choke. So, oh, down here. So you want to get the bolts that were on the air box and put them on on there. And you want to evenly um, put them on. So then, then you have like like unequal pressure on both sides and it would just be bad for the engine. It would get, it would uh, lessen its performance skills. So you want to put these on not too tight, but pretty, uh, pretty tight enough for it to, you know, just be on there good. So you want to make it as even as possible. This one's, this one's pretty good on. This one's a little loose. Alright, so next we put this on. There's like little grooves in there. That'll... Yep. Yeah. Oh. First you wanna put this on. That's important. You don't want this flying off. Okay. Just like that. And then... You tighten it to make sure it's all snug on there. Oh my gosh. There we go. Alright guys, so with some research, uh, it looks to be that this is just a vent hose, and uh, it could just be bent over or something, and then this could just be left open, so I guess I could try and start it up, see how it goes. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Alright guys, this sounds like an absolute... Beast. Oh my god! Oh gosh, that was close. But oh, hey! Oh god. Wow, this is sick! Oh my god, dude, I'm so happy. I highly suggest getting this. It sounds like a beast. Oh, my, my neighbor's gonna hate me, probably. But, uh, so, I, I go to go, go Power Sports. Uh, I'll put links in the description. Highly suggest. Uh, they have great products. But one thing, don't don't ride it without uh, an air filter cover. I'm I'm wait I'm just uh, I'm waiting for mine. But don't ride it. You can start it up, but just don't ride it because you can just there could be dust and so you want to have a pre-filter that could catch all that dust. But yeah, so you don't want to risk it. But any anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, and share about the channel. Thanks for watching.